Hello. My name isn't important, but my message is. Throughout history, villains have become a bit of a mainstay in pop culture, and really life. But have villains evolved, from then to now? And if so, how have they evolved? Well, that's something me, and my partner Sweeney, are going to find out. This is the necessity of evil. The concept of the villain is nothing new. Ever since the days of Loki, Jesus, and Zeus, mankind has always told stories of heroes and, of course, the villains that opposed them. The biblical villain that most people know today is the fallen one, Lucifer. The snake uh, offer Eve the apple. That is both biblically, that should be the first of the evil taking root in our world. So when people are looking for um, inspiration for the stories that they're going to tell and the short stories they're going to create and share, they're going to look at what they know. So the Bible, mythology, folklore, all of those are going to be inspirations that are going to be the focus, especially when they're looking for who their villain is going to be. Uh, you can definitely see like the characters, you know, the, um, I mean when you see that like red demon kind of figure, I think that you make the association with that. I think it's a very easy like cartoonish kind of thing that people definitely play off of a lot. Aside from Lucifer, there are other figures in mythology that can be defined as villainous, such as the Norse god Loki. Loki wasn't really evil, but he was a prankster and defined as an antagonist in Norse culture. Some could even say that the prankster ways of Loki translated into the clown prince of crime himself, the Joker. The prank that got him into the most trouble was when he was attacking Odin's favorite son, Balder. Loki was then punished by being chained into a cave with a venomous serpent dripping venom onto his forehead. So what inspires the villains of the day? What inspires the creators of all these characters to make them do what they do? Why do a lot of people think that they're so interesting to watch? Could it be that people have seen certain traits of these characters somewhere else? Perhaps somewhere in the world? A lot of the stuff that the Law and Order series takes, they usually grab from headlines somewhere at some point and kind of just twist it a little bit, you know, because they don't want to make it too real compared to the real life scenario, but they base everything off of it. I think obviously in order to make any movie relevant or show or whatever, it's going to reflect the time. I mean, you look in the 80s, the villains were people that, uh, uh, you know, the Rocky movie, the, the, the com they were communists, you know, they were trying to, to push communism on us. Now we've seen a, 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 it's moved to, um, you know, the Muslim, the, the radical Muslim world. While people generally agree that the basic concepts of villainy have been around since we can remember and that we can find a lot of these traits in real life, people tend to respond differently when they are asked the big question of, have the villains changed? There's definitely a difference. I think the, the villains now are, are more sinister, more evil, uh, more over the top than just the, the bad guy who locked somebody in a cage. Uh, Character-wise, I think they all kind of basically follow the same type of same type of character. I don't see too much, too much difference. Well, even if the villains haven't changed, the society that inspires the villains has changed. For example, think back to the days of ancient Rome when they forced gladiators to fight lions. You know, uh, I mean that's kind of messed up in our today standards, but it's very common for them. Considering just how messed up something like gladiator fights in Rome were, maybe villains and their character depend more on what we like to watch. So what people see as entertainment has allowed for that evolution of, I think, those characters to keep going. It's clear that the question of have the villains changed leaves a lot of room for plenty of opinions and perceptions. So that being said, we encourage you to come up with your own perception should the subject interest you in any way. Add to the debate. But no matter what you or anyone else contributes to the discussion, one thing remains true. Villains will forever be in pop culture so long as conflict exists within humanity. Thank you for watching The Necessity of Evil.